In this last video of the chapter, we're going to show you how to include only certain scenes within an animation. Let's first start with our overall scene. And what we want to do in our section browser here is in the details, so make sure you have this details popped up. In the details, there's an option here to just include an animation. So for scene two and for scene three, we want to uncheck that. The same can be said for the first floor, the section cut, and the section perspective. Now, one thing that you'll notice in this overall scene, that section cut or poche that we created, it's going to be visible. So we need to hide it and then update our scene. We're going to have to do that for every scene in our animation. And a lot of times you'll have to pre-select it and then click on the scene, hide it with H as your keyboard shortcut, and then right click and update. Now the other thing that we could do, and it really depends on how your model's organized, you could uncheck hidden geometry as a property within those scenes. But in some cases, depending on your model complexity and what you're working on, you may need that hidden geometry turned on. In our case, since we only have a couple scenes, it's really not that difficult to just go through and hide that. And although we can't see it here, we will see it when we make that transition. So this is one of those things where you have to get out of view select it, hide it, and then update. You could also make it into a layer and then uncheck that layer visibility. But again, that really depends on your workflow. All right, now that we have all of our scenes saved, let's move on to the next chapter where we'll explore exporting options. And these include exporting as a JPEG or image, as well as exporting to Google Earth, or even exporting an animation 